So, right now, I'm on this damn uh, lease road, and I'm waiting on this guy to come meet me and uh, show me exactly where I'm dropping off at because these coordinates they gave me is not working at all. And uh, hey, don't think I wear the same hoodie all the time. This is my work hoodie, so I don't mind getting it dirty and I pull this motherfucker out. But anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about some securement, especially with these chains, because I noticed the other day when I was moving this load that one of these chains started loosening up, and I'm not having that shit because loads do shift and loads do move. So I'm going to show you a little chain securement that I did right here. So with this big-ass compressor, see how I wrapped that chain right there, and I pulled it to the other side. So all I did was make an X with these chains right here. You know, I threw a little bungee in there, keep any slack from dangling around. I don't want DOT to give me no problems on that. But as these chains started wiggling, started loosening up a little bit, cause I was going on them rough roads and that will cause your load to bounce around and shift some, even if you got chains on it. Went back with this right here. Went back with something like this right here to come all the way across the front. Bam, somebody calling me. They're going to have to call me back. I got shit to do right now. We're shooting this video. But anyway, so we're pulling back right here. And this right here is going to keep this load from sliding forward. So if these two X chains loosened up and it was pulling to one side of any of that, it wouldn't shift and slide nowhere off of the trailer or shift past the trailer, right? All right. And I did the same thing on the back of it. All right. So I did the same thing on the back of this trailer. That's a truck coming down the road. He had one of these job sites. I tell you what, if you don't have to, don't ever come to the middle of the damn desert. Anyway, so I extrapped the back of it the same exact way. That's to keep it from going side to side. That's the pull it's pulling towards the back some, and it'll keep it from going side to side. So you do the same thing in the front and the back on a load like this. And then I got this chain running across the top right here. And that's going to keep it from sliding back. So it's holding up against that bars right there. It's going to catch all this shit before it can move. If it bounced up and got loose, it's going to slide up in there. It's going to slide somewhere and stop this motherfucker until you can pull over on the side of the road and uh, call a crane or either fix your load. So sometimes you have to over-secure. Well, most of the time, you got to always over-secure. That's one of my main things. You always over-secure your load. That way you ain't got shit to worry about. And I'm not against CDL hot shot at all. But my thing on CDL Hot Shot is sometimes you're in an area and the load weighs 20,000 pounds. And I wouldn't pull this 20,000 pound load if it wasn't paying a shit load right now. I'm trying to get out the way of this truck coming through. If it wasn't paying a shit load, I wouldn't have took this load. Not a shit load. But if it wasn't paying good, I wouldn't have hauled this load at all. That's my only thing against non CDL is you can't grab something that weighs this much. Well, that's the guy coming to get me. He about to turn around. I'm going to follow him on in here. I was just doing a little quick short securement video for you. Letting you know how shit goes sometimes. I always secure that thing. Over secure that thing, baby. I'm out.